guys, for this winter fail, I'm gonna do these photo coasters. They are adorable, and if you wanna know more about it, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below for her blog post. To make these coasters, you will need tiles. I did four just to start off because I didn't know how well they would turn out, which by the way, I got those tiles at Home Depot and they were only about 19 cents each. You also need photos. Now, these photos I got from Walmart. They're just their one hour photo, very cheap photos. I did four by four to match my tile. Some kind of item to raise the tile while it dries. They will be ruined in the end, so make sure this is no valuable item. You will also need a glue stick to glue your pictures down so they don't move around. Then you will need some felt pads, high gloss finish, whatever kind you're using. This is the brand I used just because it was her brand. I did get a small bottle for the time being. I decided to use a torch because I thought it would be faster than blowing through a straw, which it was a lot faster. So I did try a straw for maybe two seconds and I decided not to do that. You will also need a plastic bag to cover your surface. You will need rubber gloves, three jars. These jars are going to be ruined in the end, so make sure that they can be thrown away. Two stirring sticks. I'm using these spoons, but I'm using the handle parts here, so make sure they are a straight edge. And also just remember to read your instructions for whatever you're using because it is very precise. All right, to get started on these, you're going to glue your picture down to your tile. And I glued very, very well on these. I made sure not to you know, miss any part of it. And then stick it on and make sure that you are as even as you can get. I found the best way to stick the photo down was to turn it over and press down. That way you don't leave any fingerprints on the photo. You're going to do the same to every one of your photos. For the next step, read your instructions extremely well. This is the, the best way to do this. I decided to put 10 cap bowls in each container and then did the process from there. You're going to mix your hardener in with your other bottle and stir very, very well. Make sure you set your timer to two minutes because you have to stir for exactly two minutes. While you're stirring, you're going to scrape the sides and the bottom of the cup. Also wipe your spoon off when you're done. Next, you're gonna pour your concoction into another glass. Now this time you're going to use a brand new stirring stick. This is in the instructions and they say that it is very important to do this part, so definitely do it. You're gonna do this step for exactly one minute. Then you're going to pour your liquid over your picture very evenly. And I did this in a couple different ways. I poured it all at once just to make sure that I had enough to distribute on each one. And then I poured a little more after I scraped it along the sides. And I am just using a piece of the cardboard box that it came in. see here how I stacked the coaster so that the liquid would drip over the sides. And as you can see, some of the photos turned out great while others had lots of little tiny bubbles. And to fix those bubbles, you can either blow through a straw or use this awesome torch. If you're using the torch, make sure you have it on low. And here you can see the before and after. So much better. The torch works way faster, just an FYI. Make sure you let them dry in a dust-free zone. I have a few dust particles that landed on mine. If you look closely, you can see the ceiling fan in the reflection. That's just to show you how glossy and glass look these are. 
After 12 hours of waiting for this to dry, they did appear to have more bubbles and now that it's dry, I couldn't use the torch. Next, stick your felt pads on the bottom. So here is the final look at these. They turned out awesome and I love them. If you do want to check these out more, check the blog in the description underneath. That is the blog from the original post that I did all the instructions from. Thanks for watching and thumbs up and subscribe.